by the Suez Canal. The 177,000 shares owned by the Khedive. But is there any certainty he'll sell? After years of colossal extravagance, he has made his country almost totally bankrupt. Our agent in Cairo tells us he has given an option on his shares to a French syndicate. For how much? 92 million francs. Three, six, eight. Three million six hundred and eighty thousand pounds. Then there's no point. The French have it. No, 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 not yet. This is the weekend. They have until Tuesday. Now, they would sell to us at once for a higher sum and in cash. A higher sum? Four million pounds. Oh, well, it's out of the question. It is an international waterway. We have more interest in it than anyone else. Four-fifths of the ships that use it are British. But why do we have to buy it? To make sure that no one prevents us using it. The possibility of that link being cut is an enormous threat to India, with Russia already poised on its northern borders. Yes, of course, but we cannot make a hasty decision. In any case, the Khedive shares are less than half. We would still not control it. We would have by far the largest holding, and with the few shares we already own and more that we may acquire, we we would have a controlling interest. It is too big a step. I shall quote the prince. If we do not buy it now, one day we shall be forced to take it. Nothing is more certain. If the French are allowed to buy the shares, they will have a majority. Now, the French are already trying to extend their influence in Egypt. If nothing is done, then in a few days, Bismarck will hear of it and will put the resources of Imperial Germany into the bidding. And then there is the Russian influence in the Middle East. No, 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 no. Britain must have a stake in the canal. For a sum such as four million pounds, the decision should be taken by Parliament. Parliament is not in session. Is it up to us, to the twelve of you sitting here? You said yourself it is a matter of urgency, Prime Minister. We cannot approach the Bank of England before Monday. Then there will be endless inquiries and committees to go through for such a large amount. I must have a decision. There's no way we can raise it quickly enough. It's impossible. Do I have your agreement, yes or no? Yes. Yes. Well, Mr. Curry, do sit down. Thank you. You, uh, you will forgive me intruding, Baron. I have just come on an errand from the cabinet room for Mr. Disraeli. He needs a sum of four million pounds by tomorrow. And what is your security? The British government. Tell him he shall have it. <laughs> 